Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sick, and today I want to talk to you about MQ2 Warrior. So, um, we should have done this video a little while ago, but uh, things have been real busy. So, just uh, you know, sorry. <laughs> so let's uh, let's fire this up. So you can see I just unloaded it for the sake of the video. I'm gonna fire this up. Boom, uh, fired this up, and we got, uh, it goes through its thing, and it checks to see what abilities we have, and it outputs if we're missing any, just like the other chat with this name, Class Plugins. And um, right now, uh, if I do a slash war mode, it tells me I'm in manual mode. That's mode zero, so I'm not going to do anything. If, if something comes up and starts fighting me, I'm not going to do anything until I personally, manually, turn on attack. Um, all of the chat with this uh, name, Class Plugins, have... The similar modes, 0 through 7, Manual, Assist, Chase, Vorpal, Tank, Puller Tank, Puller Assist, and Sick Tank mode. Um, now, on Warrior itself, because I use my Warrior in a tanking capacity, the only ones that I actually care about are Manual, mode 0, Tank mode, mode 4, Puller Tank, which is mode 5, and Sick Tank, which is mode 7. Those are the only ones that I care about as a tank. The other ones are would be if I was a, a secondary character and not the main assist, not the main tank, etc. Okay, but so like I said, right now we're in manual mode, um, and if you see, I don't have anything happening on the map. There's nothing going on here, right? Now, if I do war mode four, I set this red circle. This red circle is my camp. You see, camp updated it gives you little locations, uh, what zone we're in. Now, I'm going to be reacting to stuff happening inside this circle. If somebody comes into my house and tries to piss on my rug, they're going to have a problem. Uh, and we can adjust that camp radius. Uh, you know, if I, if I just say it, it says it's uh, set to uh, to 60 or less. Uh, if I wanted to change that, let's say I'm in a dungeon and I don't want to. I don't want to be running all over. I want to try to stay tight, tight. I can uh, I can do a really small radius, like 15. So I'm only gonna I'm only gonna fight stuff that happens inside that circle, right? But uh, let's leave it for 60 now. Um. And I am going to go uh, War Mode 7. This is the mode, since I drive my tank, this is the mode that I normally roll in, okay? Um, War Mode 7 sets the camp. So if a mob wanders in here, I'm going to be like, hey man, where's your hall pass? And if he doesn't have a hall pass, he's getting fucked up. Um... But it's not going to force me to return anywhere or sit down or do anything wacky. So I can still move around, okay? But he's going to automatically start fighting if stuff happens. So I use War Mode 7 um, if I'm, like, hanging out at a camp and I'm manually pulling since I drive with my tank. So I see this guy over here, and uh, let's zoom in a little bit on my uh, my SEQ and find mobs to pull a little easier. Okay, I got this guy here. Let's say I'm going to tag this guy. I'm going to manually pull him, and I'm going to come back. Now, now hands off, Okay. As soon as he enters the camp, I'm going to nav to him, and I'm going to start busting him up. So, you know, using my combat abilities and all that good stuff. Now, when the fight's over, the, uh... Oh, sure. Oh, PDV. Okay, uh, MQ clear. Sorry, just moving that out of the way. Okay, so um, pull the guy. I'm gonna fight him if he enters camp, and uh, then we do our business, and that's you know, this is it. We do our thing. So he's coming to camp. As soon as he gets in the radius, I'm gonna start doing my stuff. I'm gonna use AAs, uh, combat abilities. Uh, it's pretty straightforward on the stuff that we use. Um, you can see all the documentation in the MQ2 Warrior page about which abilities we use for, uh, you know, timer, timer one for either, uh, you know, uh, armor or defensive, you know, um, courageous defense, you know, that, that line. Um, the, the burn line, we have some, uh, some logic built in that let's say, you know, my ultimate stand is up and I'm not, I'm not using my ultimate stand, but I'm fighting a named, I'm going to cancel the disc that I have so I can fire ultimate stand and do that whole, whole business. Um, well, we'll just pull a couple of these and then I'm going to fire it in puller tank mode and show you what that looks like. So again, I pull this, uh, I, I run back to camp as soon as it, um, as soon as the mob enters my camp, I'm going to turn around and fight it. 
all my dudes are going to turn around and uh, and do the same. So really, really, really straightforward. Uh, we're going to go war mode 5 now. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh... Okay. So if you see uh, my blue circle here, the blue circle is my pull radius, right? Which is just war radius. My green circle is the range of my pull item, which in this case is my bow. Um, so I'm going to do war radius and we'll change it to like 800. Okay. So now we're big again. Uh, map filter NPC on. Okay. So you can see, we can see the dots here now. Um, so there are now mobs inside my blue circle and I'm going to start pulling them. And uh, I run back to camp. I turn around and face the mob. As soon as the mob gets here and he enters in the little red circle, the red camp circle that I have, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bust him up because he doesn't have a hall pass. <clears throat> so if you notice the spam on the combat abilities, um, the uh, plugins are very aggressive. Um, it checks to see if you can use the ability before it goes to press it. But sometimes with uh, EverQuest itself, uh, it may take a couple of times for that to actually happen before that fires off. So. Um, All right, we tagged the mob. What's it doing? It's taking a sweet time. I'm back at camp. I'm chilling. He's in my circle. No hall pass. I'm busting him up. And this is pull mode. So it'll just sit and do this. If it runs out of mobs or if there's a, you know, my group watch condition is not met, which would, uh, you know, watch my group members for, you know, health and mana, um, then we'll sit down and chill. We'll wait until the group is good to go. And then uh, we'll roll off and do it again. And we're running back. Turning around. That way if he gets to us and uh, for whatever reason we don't start fighting him, we're not going to get punched in, the, punched in the back. Now there's some cool logic that chat has put in these class plugins where... Let's say, let's say I'm running out to get a mob, okay? I'm running out to get a mob, uh, and right now something walks into camp and hits one of my tunes. Hits my dude, punches him in the face, no hall pass, not cool. My dude's going to immediately turn around and run back to camp. Because at the end of the day, my job is, I'm a tank, my job is to make sure that I am getting punched in the face for the rest of my team. So um, there's some really cool features in here that chat put in with, uh, with the tank classes and specifically the, the, the tank routines. Um, now, let's say my group member is outside of the camp. Let's say my group member is across the zone and he gets punched in the face. The tank is not going to take off over there. There's a, there's a buffer around the, the camp space or the camp size. That way, if your tune is, if your tune is slightly above it, it's going to check and say, hey, is it reasonable to think that perhaps I should go and save this guy and not just like let him die on that, that hard, hard red line? And, um, you know, if it needs to, it'll run out there and try to save the day. But um, this helps make it so you don't do crazy stuff and cause yourself a bunch of headache. But this is this is what MQ2 Warrior looks like, you know? It's got uh, all the AAs uh, plugged in. Um, it's got all the abilities plugged in, uh, defensive routines. I have done all of, uh, or all slash most of TOV already with MQ2 Warrior. I, in fact, I've used MQ2 Warrior uh, almost exclusively for uh, the entirety of this expansion so far. And... Uh, everything's performed really well I'm really really happy with it I was able to help chat get some of the uh, um, or mode 7 I was able to help chat get some of the um, you know AAs and defensives and some of the routine stuff uh, put in here I'm gonna go war mode 7 right now so war mode 7 if you remember is sick tank mode so I'm gonna stop pulling um, I'm still watching the camp Still watching my team if they get busted up, but now I can move freely and uh, and do stuff. So, uh, war. If I do war help, 
um, you'll see all of the uh, commands. A good majority for warrior are, um, these are all, you know, common amongst all of the chat with this name plugins. Assist at, uh, switch with MA, camp radius, use AOE, AOE count, burn count, burn all named, etc., etc. Uh, add, you know, add clicky, raid mode, radius, Z radius, group watch. Um, we have toggled so you can use phantom and use uh, projection, turn those off if you don't want them. Those are the uh, AA and disc ability that uh, shoots out the little doppelganger. Some people don't like to use those or they want to use them manually and cause issues um, with a little fluff pet running out and, and whatever. So we, we can toggle those off. Um, so let's talk about, let's talk about operating your group using MQ2 Warrior and uh, and getting your group to do what you want it to do, okay? So I have a, uh, I have a hotkey here that has everybody turn switch with MA on. So switch with MA on is not on by default. Um, and switch with MA is a, it's chat with this uh, name class plugin specific, okay? So on my Berserker, um, you know, if I tell all my dudes to go uh, hit that switch button. Now they're all going to go slash whatever whatever it is. So my Zerkers are going to go slash Zerk space, switch with MA on. And what that means is me, as the MA, if I change targets, those characters are going to follow me and change targets with me. Now the reason why it's not set like that by default is as a tank, sometimes you will want to grab a different target, something specific you want to grab otherwise, even though you still want your tunes to burn down whatever target they have and uh, this gives you that ability that if you want them to automatically swap with you they will do that or if you don't want them to swap with you they'll stay on their you know that they'll stay on the initial target that they were given from you when you started engaging um so that's pretty cool uh what else um oh huh, this is super great so <laughs> i added this or uh, i got chat to help me add this because i'm lazy so th this is currently only in Warrior, and I think uh, I have it added into the uh, sick version of MQ2 SK. Maybe let me just pull this guy. Um, so again, I'm in I'm in mode seven right now. There we go. I'm gonna manually rotate this a little bit. Help my dudes. Um, these Draculiches are really really strange. If you notice, they have a very large hitbox, and uh, sometimes you have to adjust camp radius to uh, be large enough for your characters to notice that they are now in the camp and they need to get punched in the face or whatever. Anyhow, so... Um, so if you remember, I'm in mode 7. I have a camp set, right? And let's say I'm over here and I'm manually pulling something. Where is something to pull? Here's a blue thing. There, this thing's over here. Now, I have a button <laughs> slash war go to camp. It's an it's undocumented uh, hotkey, but war go to camp. So I'm going to go over here I'm going to hit him, because again, I'm manually pulling. I'm in mode, mode 7. Okay, he's pissed off at me. I'm going to nav camp, and uh, I'm going to run back to camp. <laughs> and um, the uh, the go to camp pulls the camp location that we set when we set this red circle going in mode 7. So it allows me to uh, have the best of both, both worlds where I can still manually pull, but I don't have to manually try to run back. So if I'm in a labyrinth or some dungeon or maze or some bullshit somewhere... And uh, I'm manually pulling. I don't have to get lost on the way back or try to uh, try to nav back to one of my group members. I can just hit that and I'll nav straight back to the camp, which is super rad. I like that a lot. Um, so same with uh, same with any of the uh, puller um, puller settings. It's gonna check to see if I have a ranged item. At least so for warrior, if I have a ranged item. Uh, and ammo, it's going to use my bow, my bow. Otherwise, it's just going to go up and uh, and face pull. Um, but that's the green the green circle you saw earlier when I was in mode five. You could see that arrow radius. And uh, we'll do that again. Actually, war mode five. Uh, let's do that. So we see our green circle. We see our blue circle. Our blue circle. We're going to be pulling mobs inside of this. Now, if you notice, the green circle travels with me. Okay. The red circle, my camp stays there which is pretty rad so I just found this dude I shot him with an arrow and I'm running okay you see my little projection a little projection right out there 
Um, that's why we have that so you can toggle it off. Not everybody wants that uh, little projection getting in your way of pulls and stuff. All right, guys, so that's kind of it. Uh, like I said, I just kind of wanted to give a quick rundown on some of the uh, MQ2 Warrior stuff, particularly with the modes uh, to help you get started. But, um, but yeah, so that's where we're at, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon.